Are you kidding me? It's breaking! Is that the hint? To tell me I'm wrong? Hey guys, it's Katie, and welcome back to another episode of Lost in Translation. If this is your first time here, we take a recipe, we put it into Google Translate. It goes from English to Malay to Hungarian to German and many, many, many more until it's finally back to English to give us a hilariously translated recipe. I like to call this series, Let's Torture Jasmine. Let's just get in there and just keep putting her on the spot. <laughs> Are you excited? I'm so excited. This one's fun. Maybe you'll know it. Cat papyrus. <laughs> I can't even tell if it's sweet or savory. You're gonna have to find out. Let's make cat papyrus. Step one, warm to 350 degrees. Cover with a small oven plate. I'm gonna preheat the oven to 350. I'll be right back. Cover with the small oven plate. I am going to grab a baking sheet. I want to say it's one of these. I'm gonna go with this one. I am just taking a shot in the dark. Step number two, put a small one third glass of milk into a small bowl and melt. So now I'm thinking glass is cup. Milk is either milk heavy whipping cream or butter. I think melt could be like warm or heat. Why do I trust milk? Oh, there's a lot of milk. A third cup of milk is so little. All right, you have five seconds. Five, ah! four, three, two. Butter! All right, we got a third cup of butter. Let's go microwave this. Step three, dissolve six yolks a third cup of lard, and half cup of sugar in a bowl. I think I might need to crack some eggs, so I'll just prepare this for now. I'm thinking lard is either butter. Oh, this is from the last step, the third cup of lard. Yes, I think sugar is sugar. All right, so I did six eggs. It says yolks, so I am going to remove the yolks. Why did you purse your lips? I just thought it was funny how you, uh did it this way. I'm trying to buy time here. And now we're gonna move on to a third cup of lard. I think it's the lard that I just melted. And now I'm gonna add half a cup of sugar. So dissolve, I think that just means to combine. Step number four, carefully pour it into yolk. Maybe now I pour this into my egg whites. I think I need a hint. Kelly, may I have a hint? You're missing something that comes from a cow. No! I need milk. I'm just gonna go warm this in the microwave. And now I'm gonna pour it into my yolk slowly so I don't get scrambled eggs. So are you worried about that butter you put in now? I wasn't. Baking requires extreme precision. And if I've messed it up, flavors and textures will the sugar is dissolved. Let's move on to the next step. Step number five. In bowl, cut one cup breadcrumbs to mix gently. There's breadcrumbs. <laughs> Whole wheat pastry flour. Do you think that you're getting any better at this? <laughs> I think it's flour. There's pastry flour, cake flour. I think it's cake flour. I am going to sift one cup of cake flour into my mixture. Should have used a bigger bowl. That's a t-shirt. We're gonna need a bigger bowl. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just gonna mix gently. Step number six. In a separate bowl, whisk six egg whites in a quarter glass of hard sugar until a solid hole is found. <laughs> I think a solid hole is a stiff peak. How'd you get a solid hole to stiff peaks? Hole, dip, dip. Valley, valley, peak. I'm gonna start whisking my egg whites and slowly add my sugar while I'm doing that until stiff peaks form. All right. Step number seven, cut the egg whites into cubes and turn the dough. Now I'm gonna take my egg whites into cubes and turn it into my dough. Right now it feels like I'm making a cake. Confidence level is like a solid so I'm gonna continue to, <laughs> I'm feeling good so far. I'm excited to eat some sort of cake. Step number eight, distribute the dough evenly on the prepared deck. My prepared deck. Oh, well step one, cover my small plate with parchment paper. 
I'm gonna bring on my deck. However, it is unprepared, so I shall prepare it. And now I'm just going to add in my dough and distribute it evenly. Next step, step number nine. Cook for 12 to 15 minutes until completely dissolved. The cake must be one year old. Cook for 12 to 15 minutes, I think is bake for 12 to 15 minutes. The cake should rest for one hour. Maybe it's baked for one hour. We're gonna take this prepared deck and we're gonna cook it for 12 to 15 minutes and then it'll be one year old. Let's move on to step 10. Relax for five to seven minutes, then wipe off the paper. Using a kitchen towel, pull the cake out of the morgue. Start small, stir for 15 minutes. First step is to relax for five to seven minutes. We're gonna do that for five to seven minutes. You guys having a good day? Wipe off the paper, remove the parchment paper. So I am going to flip this, stir for 15 minutes? I have messed up somewhere. I will need a hint. Katie, the pan you chose may have been incorrect. No! Is that the hint? Mm -hmm. To tell me I'm wrong? So I guess it was supposed to be a sheet tray, which means it would have been a lot thinner. What I'm gonna do is take a knife and Thinner. I have split my baby into two. I'm gonna take a kitchen towel and I am going to roll it up. It doesn't say to do this, but thinking about what I did in Strawberry King King, I am going to take some powdered sugar and glue it on my towel. All right, and now I'm gonna roll it up. Being very careful here. Look at it! Stir for 15 minutes means let it stay rolled. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Step 11, in large bowl, mix one cup sour cream, two tablespoon sugar, half teaspoon bean, mix hands into smooth rough mountains. <laughs> <laughs> I could do large bowl. Mix one cup sour cream. Is it sour cream? I think sugar could definitely be sugar. Sour cream, I think it could be mascarpone. What's this? Vanilla bean. Bean! Ribbons? Dude, there's Pepero! <laughs> All right, I'm deciding that my one cup of sour cream is one cup of mascarpone. Two tablespoons of powdered sugar. I am going with vanilla bean for half teaspoon bean. I'm just gonna mix this into rough mountains. Step number 12, peel, cut, and squeeze the juice. Remove the kitchen towel and add the watermelon berries to the dough. <laughs> I'm getting vibes that it should be lemon. I think this is the dough. I think berries is strawberries. Water, melon. Water, water, glass, glass, drink, drink, straw, straw, berries. I'm stra apricot jam. Only a friend could save me from the mistake I might make. No one's gonna save you. I have put a lemon in my squeezer and now I'm just gonna do a little bit. It doesn't say how much, which is why I feel like this could be wrong. Remove the kitchen towel and add the watermelon berries to the dough. Oh, this. All right, I need a hint. You have a special hint today, actually. Mimo is gonna FaceTime you whenever you need her. Oh my God, making her work on vacation. Time to call Mimo. Mimo! Can you help me? Remove the kitchen towel and add the watermelon berries to the dough. Watermelon berries is confusing me. Oh, all right. So when you're driving home, you're stuck in traffic. You're stuck in traffic. Jam! <laughs> yes! Thank you. I love you. Bye. Have fun on vacation. Bye. Love you love. Bye. So it's jam, but what kind of jam? I'm gonna do strawberry. I'm just gonna do a thin, even layer on both sides. That is done. Step number 13, wrap the cake in fresh parchment paper. Cook for 10 minutes. Are you kidding me? I'm just gonna roll it back up and then I'm gonna chill it for 10 minutes. It's breaking. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's breaking! <laughs> okay, 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 we're just gonna move quickly. Yeah, yeah go Yeah, back. just don't go slow. I think parchment means plastic, so I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna go put this in the fridge for 10 minutes. Step number 14, cut the dough into 12 tablespoons. Cut my cake into 12 slices. Is this Strawberry King King? It's Cat Papyrus. Yeah. You're right. 
Let's get this baby out of here and we are just gonna cut this into 12 equal slices. Okay, I'm gonna cut this in half and then split those into three. Look how pretty it is. It broke, but it's okay. 12 tablespoons. Step number 15, place the cake on the spiral pan. Apply the cream evenly to the scalp. Add a pinch of crab to three layers and repeat, refrigerate for five minutes. How is this not strawberry cake? I think I'm gonna go with this one. I am going to take these spirals and I'm going to put them in my spiral pan. <laughs> now it's on one layer, three layers and repeat. Three layers? This isn't right. I'm gonna remove this. Oh, you know what? Change of plans. Three layers, so each layer will have four of these guys. One, two, three, four. Apply cream evenly to the scalp. So each layer will have a little spoon of cream. This is probably wrong because this is spreading not very fun. Layer two, and then we're doing another layer of cream on our scalp. We got our third layer. This is cute. Final layer, this looks good. Refrigerate for five minutes. Step 16, pour a cup of chocolate into quarter cup of hot cream. Leave the bag outside. I think we're gonna make some chocolate coating. I think hot cream is heavy whipping cream. So I'll do a quarter cup of that and just for a cup of chocolate, I think that could be chocolate chips, semi-sweet morsels, dark chocolate, milk chocolate. I am going to go with dark chocolate morsels. I'm just gonna mix this until it's all melted. Step 17, add the cake to the chocolate filling. Sprinkle the chill on the wall. I think filling, I think I'm gonna cover my cake with this chocolate filling. I have decided I am going to transfer this onto a wire rack here very carefully. Now I'm going to pour my chocolate sauce. This looks delicious. Now I'm just gonna spread this. I am really loving how this is turning out. Sprinkle the chill on the wall. The chill? Sprinkles? Ooh, there's gold. Gold. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna do gold on the side and we're just gonna do it along the entire outside. I am done adding my gold on the side. Have I gone a little overboard? Absolutely. But that's because Cat Papyrus has a big personality. Step 18, serve the cake with one cup chopped strawberries and pesto. I think I am going to chop up some strawberries, add it to the top, <gasps> pistachios. <laughs> So I am just going to sprinkle this on top here. And then finally, I think pesto is pistachios. Step 19, final step. Pick up the red line and throw the cake. I think it means to transfer to plate and throw the cake. Now I'm gonna transfer this cake to this plate. Wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> My fingers are cramping. Oh now for this side, wow. Throw the cake. Woo! Are you ready to see what it looks like? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Open your eyes. Whoa, what? <laughs> that is beautiful. It's Pepero cake for Pepero Day in Korea. Sort of like Valentine's Day, it's common for people to gift these cakes. I'm familiar with this cake. You are? I'm familiar with this day. I did not make the connection at all. It is a thin biscuit that is coated in chocolate and you can get it in different flavors. Let's give this a try. Mmm, not too sweet. The chocolate ganache is chef's kiss. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really into cat papyrus, but let's give the pepero cake a try. Cheers. Mmm, the cake is very nice and fluffy. The pepero adds like a very nice, beautiful crunch. Would you guys like to try cat papyrus? Mmm, that's good. I like it. It's good. <laughs> Yay! Woo! This was so much fun. Cat Papyrus was delicious. We have more episodes coming out, so make sure your notification bell is turned on. And we got an exciting guest next week who I, I don't know who it is. So stay tuned. We know. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So this is what I do. I scrape it like this. <laughs> and then once it's bare, I go. Ooh, there's there's cocktail shrimp. Do you drink butter? Sometimes. I'm just kidding. Me, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she hang up on you? She's like, not on vacation. <laughs> not. She